Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. In the last episode, we fought the final we final boss. Through the incalculable dimensions of human weakness. And lost horribly because I had no rank 4 damage. Well, this time I will fix that problem. I mean, in general, you want rank 4 damage. That's generally good. But I suspect what will happen is you kill those two proclaimers, little cherub enemy things, then the boss will force you to summon one of your hero's um, past confessions. Only that hero, I assume, can beat it. Like, can hurt it. It's got to be the way it works. And then when you beat it, the boss probably takes X amount of damage, like 300 damage or something. And so you have to pick... Uh, and then there are probably like different versions of monsters the bosses summon. I don't know, something like that. That's that's what I think will happen. Uh, but just getting to that final phase is not necessarily trivial. So the winding roads and roots of our kingdom. Find any advantage. So it could be rough. Let's upgrade a foresight. A welcome reprieve from the rigors of academia. The salted air and steady surf lulled us into a deep, restorative sleep. And start unlocking some other items. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Okay, Kai Urgent's Directory, Field Hospital Scouting. Sn okay. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction. Carriage lamps. It. You can resist loathing? I didn't even know that was possible. A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. This is a great um, stagecoach item. A say gear plus four quantity of looted relics. That will give us so many relics to Every spend. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. A leather straw plus two bleed duration though. That could be very powerful. Sickening silence. Apply to attacker when hit if disease six blight. Ugh. I mean, if you're diseased, that seems really good. Stirring snuff. Eh, seems kind of weak. Dark impulse that adds stun resist. Could come in handy. Scrap grenade. AoE bleed. Nice. Wilbur's flag. Wow. Adds combo and vulnerable to the front. Okay. Pretty good. In the items, holy beads. Okay. Meditative totem. Remove negative quirk, 67%. Excellent. Alright, I think we need some other upgrades. I'm thinking I want to bring a... Maybe an alchemist plague doctor. Because I don't think the surgeon is going to be very good. I need I need to hit the back rank. Ooh, this storage room key seems very questionable. And then I kind of want to bring a grave robber. But I want a very flexible grave robber. Hmm. Night Swarm. Plus 50% damage when self is... Huh. So I'm thinking I want to bring the Hellion, the Man at Arms, Plague Doctor and the Grave Robber, since the Grave Robber can hit the back, and also we can do the Grave Robber's story. Let's unlock this Dead Eye Path, see what the deal is. Unlock this stuff. The true splendor of a world. Unlock Alchemist. Live within it. Twelve candles left. I'm not sure any of these other unlocks are that great for twelve candles. Study the winding roads and roots of our kingdom. Find any advantage. 
We can see what this new pet is. Sure. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. Huh. Plus 5% debuff resist per road gear item equipped. Actually seems pretty decent. The more they have to hold on to, the harder they will fight. We have two candles I can use to unlock something. Leopard path, maybe? Just, oh, to why don't we just get another thing, trinket? Is to make it real once more. Odin Gargoyle. This is, this is the leper's favorite trinket. That trinket seems sick. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. All right, got some interesting items. All right, we're back to cowardice on the borderlands. Half swallowed by the stain. Gonna try the try chapter five again. The wind blew sour. The oceans roiled. The earth shuddered at the coming change. The crossroads. Wait by the lantern's light and welcome what help may come. Alright, let's see what the character traits are. Kleptomaniac Grave Robber. Not ideal. Reacher Highwayman. Wow, very tempting. Very tempting. You open with a point blank shot and just delete something. I don't know if I can resist that. Wow, if hit points less than 50% plus 10% crit. If party hit point less than equal to 25% plus 25 damage. Clutch hitter, that seems strong. Unyielding and vicious. Hey, vicious is not necessarily a bad thing on the Hellion. Um, tough Jester. I don't think we can bring the um, leper, especially not a soft leper. Well, we gotta bring, um, ooh, Sunny Disposition, uh, our Plague Doctor, to finish the story. Stains the surgeon's hands. I do kind of like this uh, Alchemist path. Pierce that Blight. We had some problems with Blight piercing, and the extra resistances are useful in the final battle. Then, the question is who to bring. Oh, it's so tempting, man. We could bring... Hellion... Beneath bloodlust Highway and fury, man. There is emptiness and shame. And a grave robber? Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. But how am I going to... Um, I feel like you need a tank. How am I going to... How am I gonna deal with? I mean, it would have to be a carcass path, Hellion, which can be effective. We've seen that be effective. Probably a sharp, sharp shot, Highwayman. So, Breacher, go fast, point blank shot, just delete, immediately delete the thing to front. What does Dead Eye actually do? Dead Eye improves damage and critical range skills at the expense of melee. Four to five. Let me just go back to the wanderer path or to seven not really that much worse but the pick to the face is very flexible i don't know that we want the dead eye path 
just thinking I have to be carcass otherwise I am a clutch hitter that would be I just I really 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 want to play with this breacher a uh, highwayman it just seems so incredible and sharp shot to make sure we go quick Although, Rogue is also very good, right? As long as I don't get shuffled back. Point blank shot as a riposte. Seems pretty sick. And my... Melee skills would not be nerfed, so I could be flexible. Sure. I just need to get you a speed token so you always go quick. And then a Carcass Hellion. Who can't actually hit the back, but that's okay. Alright, let's try this setup. Not quite what I had in mind, but... Also, these hero goals are all, like, basically not gonna happen. Wow, to use uh, four sm uh, use smoke bomb four times, I would do that, and I would use the medicinal herbs. But how am I gonna even like get these items? In? Land the killing blow on the layer boss and entangle. This is actually like uh, plague doctor is perfect, like the perfect counter against that layer boss. I don't know how I'm gonna land a killing blow. Seems unrealistic. Let's try this. Let's try this group. I could always bring myself. But then I wouldn't be able to take advantage of the story, the, the hero shrines, and I want the hero shrines. All right, let's try this. All right, I was just uh, reorganizing the kit and renaming all the characters. Welcome, low settings are Alchemist Plague Doctor, Vapor, the Wanderer, Grave Robber, Matt, a Rogue Highwayman. We haven't played with this specialization yet. And then Grap, the uh, Carcass Hellion, who will also be our tank. I, I saw how effective the Carcass Hellion was previously, so let's let's try this. Gonna get winded. Um, gotta have the barbaric yop to taunt. But perhaps a bloodlust. Yes. 
All right, something like this. I really want to use that breacher like highwayman. It just seems so fun. I right, got some trinkets. To travel, but you are not alone. Other straps? Sure, why not? I don't think these uh, dark impulses. Well, I can give this uh, stun dark impulse to low settings. It's got 85% stun resist. I don't think he'll get stunned. Uh, stirring stuff to vapor. Goading gargoyle. I mean, I don't know who would use that, and I don't need a sickening silence. Okay. Oh, we have combat items. Why not equip them? Comforts are exhausted. Ahead, only trial and tribulation. Pretty worried about low settings hit points. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Point blank shot will delete the one in the front. Lost so 40% blight resist. I'd rather pick it to face. Seems more reliable. That was not a delation? Wow. Uh wicked hack would kill this one. And then maybe the blight will kill this other one. Two to three. No, so I'm gonna answer prevention to make sure. Empowered, emboldened. To add disease resist. Man, this breacher highwayman just so incredible. A fortune in memories, long forgotten. That was so fun. I don't even really care if I beat the boss this time around. I just want to use the breacher highwayman to like clear everything up to the boss. Oh, we got a pig right off the bat. How nice. A joyous feast for all. Although I'm not going to use it right now. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. Well, I'm not liking our odds against the shroud with fare, this group right off the bat. Fairly priced. Big me Pillskin could be the way to go. You need a lot of healing against the final boss. Tango Almanac, tea service. Spacious storage trunk. I don't think we need any of that. Let me, um... Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Okay, I'm gonna equip these three items. That's pretty obvious. Oh, so Tango Almanac, eh, no. Tea service, I do like that, but a little early. Some other trinkets, they're kind of cute, but I don't really think I need any of these. I want to save for something good. Contraptions, hmm. Contraptions are good, Listen. but... Practice. Improve. I'm thinking we get the pygmy pill skin for the heals. Plus 10% healing received from skills per medical gear item equipped. That seems very strong. Muse, how do you even say this? Mucilogenous slime uh, can buff the debuff resist, which is very hard to get. Uh, if you have road gear, do I have road gear? One road gear. This also does seem like it has a lot of value early on. Like, the more road uh, looting of items and road debris seems very powerful early on. But I kind of feel like I might need a heals from the Pygmy Pillskin in the final boss. A little company for the long ride ahead. All right. Is there a negative quirk I really want to get rid of? Kleptomaniac? I don't even know if it's that bad in this game. 
I don't know if any of these quirks are like that bad. I'll save my items. Okay, we're gonna go to the fetter. We might fight the har harvest baby. You never know. It's not impossible. Um, bleed resist would be good. Light resist would be good. I can't remember if the harvest child does. Um, I remember it does massive bleeds. I can't remember if it does blinds. I'm tempted to buy these milk so linen. Songbook, blocked by Vicious. Fine. Let's uh, let's gamble a little. Let's make Matt and Vapor like each other, huh? Yes. <laughs> Been a while since someone tried this on me. Ah, that's great. Okay, gamble again on the songbook. Seems pretty good, honestly. I could buy a pig for the next region. Ooh, that seems real good. And maybe save the trinkets. Or save the relics or whatever they're called. Um, we will get so many res- Oh, what am I talking about? We need food. Uh... Good thing I didn't spend all my money. Okay, now I think we save the resources. Debuff resist. Who needs the debuff resist the most? Probably Matt? My women? Okay, that was good. That was good. Uh, we'll save the rest. We're gonna fight the boss. Point buff point blank won't actually do anything. Um, I do love buffing poison darts, but the boss. <sighs> buffing take aim, man. Pretty good against the boss, and it's just good in general. I also really, really like just getting the indiscriminate science upgrade right away. A little worried about our stress situation. I actually don't have a good stress healer. Are, is there laudanum? Yes, I'm gonna buy the two laudanum. I mean, Grap doesn't have to do that much against the boss. Though getting off a bleed out would be clutch. Kind of like to take aim upgrade, just like maximum flexibility, you know? As much as I want to upgrade point blank shot, that's not going to do that much against the boss. I get to upgrade Noxious Blast, it's actually not crazy because I have the piercing. Yeah, but let's just do Indiscriminate Science. It's a safe choice. And we will unequip probably the Blinding Gas. Okay. Some Laudanum. All right, I think we're good. The provinces Better? and cantrebs of our land, crumbling and undone. Are you going to visit a creature den? Great. If not, it's not a big deal. Oh, look at how beautiful this screen looks. Wow. Rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Okay, well, we have to decide whether we want to do the creature den or the lair. Probably the lair is more valuable. Uh, 
I, I feel pretty good on my chances against the Harvest Child. Question is, do we go for the supplies or the resistance encounter? We will eventually hit a hospital. I mean, we can get rid of some of these negative quirks. And then we'll get more supplies and then a hero shrine. Building's actually kind of going to build up. I could also go for the question mark, but nah, I don't want to deal with the two loathing. So, okay, so cash for supplies, which is good. Like, you can get a lot of supplies from that. Or... The resistance encounter. Which is more questionable. I think I'll go for the supplies. If I had loathing or anything, I would go for the resistance encounter. I'm a little worried about our mastery point situation, but... Um, Getting some supplies early on can be very strong. We'll have other chances to get more mastery points. This could help us beat the boss. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. I mean, this is pretty good. Good haul. I mean, it's okay. Icker bomb, sure. Your collection can wait. Press onward. Hags hoard. Mac can get a lot of positive tokens. Heart seeker plus five percent crit. Maybe on a grave robber. A little less healing received, but yeah. Tinker's bench will be useful once we get to the inn. Loading. That's okay. We'll get rid of it at the lair. Right, what is this? Oh, a hero shrine! Awesome! Wow. Low settings. I cannot say if it was madness, revenge, or naked ambition. Chapter 4 Failing Grade. Success. Vindication. The human machine restored to action. Okay, stabilize the patient. This is the reanimated professor. Okay. Uh, well. Let's try restraining the patient. Oh, but it resisted. Okay. It's bleeding quite a bit. Perhaps let's try stitching the patient up. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, this is this is not great. Let's try restraining the patient again. Nope. This patient's not doing well. I thought I was a doctor. Low settings, buddy. What are we going to do? Stitch the patient? Okay, well, yeah. You healed him a little bit, but... No, he's still bleeding horrifically. Oh, no. Stab. What other choice do we have? I'll end your pain. Alright, this professor's on death's door. What other choice do we have? Professor, I'm sorry. The shrieking and wailing was horrible. But the silence that followed is even worse. All right, it got cause of death. It instantly consumes all of the DOTs on the target as damage. Kind of like a finale from the Jester in Darkest Dungeon 1. And that move is back in this game as well. 
Um, but it only deals 75% damage unless you upgrade it. Then it deals 100% damage and it applies a combo token, which could be pretty decent. Okay, it's time to fight the Harvest Child. Not afraid of a, a child. A mere child. What is there to be afraid of? Let's make sure we have good abilities equipped. Yep, I think. I think this is good. Ounce of Prevention could come in handy. All of this stuff is good. Wilbur's Flag could be very valuable. Pistol Shot, Take Aim, Open Vein, Point Blank, Duelist Advance. These could all like happen barbaric yop for some taunts because the carcass path does that wicked hack removes block bloodlust i don't know that i actually need the bloodlust maybe bleed out you never know that could that could do something right I, mean, I would use Iron Swan on turn one, but honestly, it's a little questionable. Let's get Raucous Revelry for the um, Stress Heals. Ooh. The landowner's manor. Do you hear the child's cries? So I have Wicked Hack, right? Okay, good. Butcher. Hmm. They can pull. I don't like that. These things have very high blight resist. Nice pick to the face crit. Beautiful. I can't not do. Oh, that point blank shot was so satisfying. So satisfying. A bleed out. I mean, it's the same thing. One less obstacle in our path. Hmm, I don't like this meat hook pull nonsense. Let's play grenade in the back. For who knows Park right, the carcass path hellion, not afraid. Um, let's do a poison dart. It's just not gonna blight these things. Drone dagger has a chance to crit. 20% chance, that's pretty good. That play grenade going. Duelist advance. That one in the front is dead. This one will hopefully hit and get reposted. Revelry is not going to do anything. Yes, get reposted. Pistol shot, not the biggest hit, but it'll do. All right, and it's dead. Very easy first way. We're definitely gonna advance. Ooh, this is a lot more concerning of a comp. Let's kill this lady in the front. Ooh, Grap goes first. Ooh, don't like that. Scrap grenade? I, was, I feel like the scrap grenade's value on the Harvest Child is limited. Whereas the value here is pretty good. I'm point blank and delete that thing. Do I Barbaric Yop? Nah. Okay, good. What do these things do? Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Wow, their blight resist is insane. I'm just gonna ounce a prevention here. Cooperation is the key. Good. That was excellent damage. Yep, that human appetite's heal isn't great.
Well, let's try to kill this big ending in the front. Not seeing a better choice. Landed the blight somehow. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Massive blight and stress damage. Not too much we could have done about it. But this lore thing on Death Store. Persistence Good. Overcome even the greatest of threats. Rockus Revelry, not gonna do anything. All right, that thing is blind, but point blank. What can it do from the Let's middle? Let's take a closer look at the thing, as repulsive as it is. In the very front, it can do diseases. I don't, I don't want it to do diseases. Nope. Gonna drone dagger. Ah. Not a crit. Okay, this this actually works. Next turn I'll do a point blank. And then that thing is dead. This actually works out perfectly. Alright. Good stuff. Corrupting Cleaver. Tormenting Locket. For the Highwayman. Ghastly Guru. Harvest's Bounty, which is good for getting to the boss. Pot and Still. Whiskey. I, I mean, we gotta do this. The harvest is here. Pity those with a place at the table. All right, Tempting Aroma adds all the blind. So it does do blinds. Ah, wrap. Why do you have to move up and eat? Ah, uh, this is not necessarily a bad thing. Harvest Trial is going to move up twice, and then we can point blank it. That seems pretty good. Plus, setting up those repost. Very strong. 60% blight. But the drone dagger doesn't do enough. Don't know that we need ounce of prevention. What's the. Yeah, let's. Oh, I completely forgot the Icker bomb in the blind. That was a waste. Whoops. Alright, well, we at least got one blight off. Whoa, 16 damage repost from the front. That's what we're talking about. Resist all that blight nonsense. Oh, yes. Combo picked. Ah, oh, not a crit? Really? We, we gotta get that crit stacked. Noxious Blast. Pierce the blight resist. Yes. Oh, I got the hunger. Very unfortunate. If only we resisted that. Um, might as well barbaric yop for some taunts. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Okay. Open vein or take aim. Both are quite solid. I like to take aim. Good dodge. Okay. Smack the harvest child a little more. Probably shouldn't talk about smacking children. Not a not kosher. Noxious blast, ounce of prevention, fetid meat. What does the fetid meat do again? Observe the subject carefully. Hits the and back. You will discover its weaknesses. Right. And applies blind. Uh, I'm thinking we just noxious blast. Try to do more damage. 
It's rarely wrong. Good, good. I like the hunger. Oh, I can't barbaric yacht, but I mean, zero to one damage is pointless. Might as well revelry. That might hurt. Well, this is unfortunate. Didn't set things up well. All right, well, we have to... Killing one of the meats is not necessarily the worst possible thing. Ooh, hunger overwhelms all reason. Okay. Um, any cures? No? We're gonna blight. Good. And so I'm gonna do something unusual. I'm gonna move vapor up because I don't want that harvest hunger to cause problems. Good resist. I don't know how we're resisting everything so well. But I will take it. Okay. Ah, uh, more hunger. Very unfortunate. Um... Pick to the face. Alright, there we go. Now, we can do some stuff like Duelist Advance. Get that Riposte going. And put me on position 1, which is very good. Okay. Hunger. Gotta heal. Can I indiscreet? I have adrenaline rush equipped, right? I know this will cause bad relationships, but getting rid of that hunger stack is very good from indiscriminate science. And then we can adrenaline rush. All right. To the face, not the strongest attack, but it'll have to do. Revelry, really? Maybe I should equip toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It would be great here. Ah. Okay, okay. Need to equip toe-to-toe -to -toe over Wicked Hack. Hmm. Don't know that we... Don't want to cause the relationship problems. In vain. Good. When the harvest child is getting close to death. Oh, and then it's gonna use a nasty AoE. This time we don't resist. Then apply it judiciously. Should be able to heal that though. Not time for absinthe yet. This wound at mm. least has been tended to. I feel like this fight is dragging on too long. Ugh. And this is causing all these relationship problems. Ooh. This could be a horrific mistake. I, I don't know why my damage seems to be so problematic. Need that absinthe. Because I keep getting hit by these, um... The food problems. Okay, meltdown. This is bad. I think we might actually just wipe here. Uh, death store. Somehow I avoided that. Do I have an indiscriminate science? Alright. A 
that's at least good. Get rid of all that nonsense. The hunger, um... Maybe I needed to kill one of the meats. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. First, or something. Let's apply the combo token. Okay, that helps. Gotta get our highwaymen up. Damage is just low. That's the problem. That's why we're struggling so much. And the hunger thing, why is that like wrecking me so bad? This run, I don't, I don't quite, I don't even personally understand it myself. Because things were going so well earlier. One my Okay, survive another death door check. I have to do this last heal or an in indiscriminate science. No. The path of exculpation need not be a lonely one. I'm gonna use the other flag. Bravo. And of course my oh, this will put you on death door at least. Maws of life. Don't survive the death blow resist. Hmm. I don't know about that. I just like how do I counter Exhaustion takes hold. How do I counter the fact that it made me eat over and over again to fret? I don't know. That's why we lost our highwayman. A consequence. I just needed a little more damage. Maybe I needed more combat items, but there were so many turns where I was in the front doing nothing. Maybe I should have upgraded Duelist Advance. Get that dodge going from that. That might have been better. I think there was a lot I could have done differently to, um, to win, but. Hmm. Something like this. I mean, we don't need this tormenting locket. Tormenting locket is right. Might use the incision, honestly. Have a flexible kit. I don't think the run's over, but certainly not helped. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. Yeah, the indiscriminate science was nice, but I don't know is that critical. Should have upgraded more damage. And like dodge to avoid the the eating debuff. That was what got us. Okay. Well, since we are here, we're a coward. Even the worst habits can be overcome. And I think I will get rid of vicious. Then we can heal. Ooh, greater protectorate. Can't pass that up. I need to the supply hero shrine and then the boss. So we should be able to heal. Maybe buy some more laudanum. We can just get to the end. We might actually be in an okay state.
Hmm. I don't know about that laudanum. Evangelists are going to do their um, bleeds. I don't know any of this is necessarily going to help with that. I actually think we're good. But I will equip this um, greater protectorate. That seems excellent. I oh, need a healing right now, so. Alright, well, gotta go to the cache. Is your coat prepared for the upcoming obstruction? Hmm, there's a fight here. Voracious and decadent, the landowners and peasants alike descended into an orgy of consumption. I'm gonna have serious DPS problems. Go for the urchin in the back. Since we can bleed out in the front. Okay, this urchin is just dead. That's good. So is this lost soul? If I should have equipped if it bleeds over over a wicked hack, right? There were so many times when Grap was in the middle there. If it bleeds would have been so good. Just for the boss fight. That that was the difference maker, I think. 1 rush revelry is actually better Any heals no Do I get a drill and rush? No. Okay. Like, Wicked Hack was not doing anything that fight. Ugh. There were so many things I could have done differently. Need to... Need to consider, like, all the shuffles and stuff. More dodges to counter the... The eating problems. More repasts. Those that have all... All worked out. Oh well. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Good stuff. Empty Stein. If bleeding plus 25% damage. Self barbaric job skills strengthen. Gain on bleed resist. Weaken. I don't know that I'm actually bleeding all that much. Not confident that trinket's that good. Uh, don't think we're going to use this Sickening Silence or this Darking Pulse, to be honest. To be honest, I don't see that I'm going to use this uh, Empty Stein. It is interesting on the final boss, right? You're often bleeding, but... Not here. Ooh, Thunderclap Grenades. That could be just a thing to help us win. So simple choice. Hero Shrine Time? Should be. Look ahead. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. Flame is getting low. All right, let's finish the Plague Doctor's story. Those screams will never leave me. Chapter 5. Do no harm. 
disposal of the body was a procedural affair. A carboy of acid would dissolve the thing and no evidence would remain. In the weeks that followed, however, she found herself unable to focus, sitting motionless at her desk, paralyzed by the ceaseless wailing that reverberated in her mind. Okay, you got Disorienting Blast, which shuffles a target and applies days and weekend, or percent chance for weekend, and Magnesium Rain, which is a great skill. Uh, clears corpses, it's a massive AoE that does burn. It's very good at getting rid of tokens. More loathing. Torchlight is very low. And we could have some problems, okay. Well, let's get toe-to-toe -to -toe equipped. I think I've learned my lesson. Toe-to-toe -to -toe over Barbaric Yop. Lawnum seems good. Thunderclap grenades seem good. Don't know that incision's what I want. Magnesium Rain could be the skill that would be perfect here. All right. Yeah, there's that altar in the back. That's what I was afraid of. Let's shuffle. Hey, got the altar to the front. Still got to get that herald in the back. Those things are very nasty. Okay, I'm going to bleed out this altar because these things are so nasty. Got to get that thing dealt with. Lauding them, get that stress down a bit, and we'll poison darts the arrow in the back. That thing is still very nasty. Perfect rush judgments, like just perfect turn order for us. Alright, play grenade, the herald's dead. Excellent. Ooh, picked it to the face, ignores block. 11 crit, the altar is dead. I love it. All right, a little blood, not a problem. Wicked hack, zero damage, no, no, no. Ooh, actually, revelry is real good here. Now, we don't want a magnesium rain because that would make all these uh, corpses free up all these corpses wait flashing dagger is questionable poison darts nah. in the face this evangelist should be low health Toe to toe for a taunt. Oh, immobile. I always forget toe to toe had immobilized. Imagine, right? I just toe to toe with Grap in Harvest Trials fight over the Barbaric Yop. Uh, it's a free win. Immobilize, I don't have the problem where I keep shuffling forward and eating. If Grap eats, who cares? Like, Grap's not doing any damage. That's that's why I lost the Highwayman. That's the only reason. Ah, oh, toe to toe, man. I gotta keep using that. There was no like RNG involved. It was just bad preparation. Sometimes when my companies get too strong, the party is too strong. I'm too used to like just how absurdly overpowered it is, and I don't consider the other things that can happen little crit 
agony by accumulation. But that's fine. I just really wanted to play with that breacher highwayman. It just seems so fun. A spark. This dark impulse might actually be good on the final boss. The loathing whispers. Not gonna use idle thought. Alright. Probably well, I might use this letter straw. Ooh, I lost eight relics because I didn't discard some items. Hmm. What can I discard? Probably not going to use the Tinker's Bench. I have the Pot and Steel, which I think is the better item. Or Laudanum. That's excellent. All right, let's see who comes in as a replacement. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. Jester. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. I'm not confident in our odds against the final boss, but uh, this is what it is. Okay, well. Letter Strop is going to be real good. Oh, he's the heart seeker, probably. Tough, a tough jester. That's that's something. Uh, what are our options? Consider your position and plan accordingly. Ugh. Praise Sun, the Tango. That's like perfect for the Plague Doctor. But I really want to go to the sluice. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Especially with this uh, pot and still to generate. Lots of uh, whiskey. And what you can, or wealth no longer has meaning. Oh, this is the provisioner. If Everything is did. cheap, and the wolf's blood trinket could be the way to go. This, this is not impossible. We could, we could salvage things. I want to even buy a war horn. Um, yeah, this is not even close to being possible. Bon Vivant, Tracker. Alright, I will figure all of this out in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.